Welcome back to my little corner of Sin City. I was getting ready to put my makeup on and I thought, well, hey, why not film an indie review? So I decided to go with the indie brand called Pretties For Your Face. Now they have a ton of different five quad eyeshadow palettes. I bought two of them. I got one called The Heart of Fantasia. And as you can see, it's got Falcor on the front. And I got another one called We Are the Weirdos, Mister. A lot of her palettes have like movie type themes all on the little strange side and they have really interesting color schemes. So the Heart of Fantasia palette, it looks like this. Pardon the fingerprints everywhere. And it's got the shade names on the back like this. And the We Are the Weirdos palette looks like this. And uh, most of these eyeshadows in the We Are the Weirdos have like a satin finish. And then there's this one kind of hybrid matte satin thing going on right there. Now this one is mostly shimmers and have a bunch of very, very unique shades. And I have actually both the palettes on my eyes right now. It's mostly the Heart of Fantasia palette with the black shade from We Are The Weirdos, Mister. I also bought a mystery box from the brand. They So they do little bundles. They have bath and body bundles and they have makeup bundles. And they're very good about coordinating things that you want. So you could say, hey, I want all eyeshadows or hey, I wanna try your highlighters or whatever. And they'll make you a custom little bundle. So I ended up getting these four eyeshadows and these two highlighters in the bundle. And it's got the shade names on the back here. So this is called Barb. I wonder if that's related to Stranger Things. This is called Frequency. This is called Rad. And this is called Trouble. Let's see, I'm having trouble getting that to focus. There, ooh, all right, okay. The two highlighters here, we have one called Bittersweet. And we have one called Cheek. Come on, there we go, focus, focus, there it goes, all right. So I will put swatches of these a little bit later. So that's what I got from the brand Pretties From Your Face. Like I said, they also have bath and body stuff like bath bombs and soaps, perfumes and those type of stuff. But I was focused mainly on the eyeshadows and these are the two that I got. I do believe that the mystery bundle was $25. But like I said, they're very good about customizing for you, customizing them for you so you only get the type of products that you want. With that said, let's take a look at the swatches, shall we?
let's dig into these. So um, I got two different palettes, as I said. I got the Heart F Fantasia, and I'm gonna try to use both of them. And we got We Are the Weirdos, Mister, from the craft. And these palettes are so, so, so pretty, and I cannot wait to dig into them. The only issue is that in both of these palettes that I got and the mystery package that I got, I don't have a single matte, not one single matte. Now this black shade, it's got a little bit of green fleck to it. It's a more of a satiny shimmer, so I might be able to use that as a base shade. So as beautiful as these shades are, as beautiful as these shades are, pulling together just one basic look, I'm, I'm gonna have to get creative here. So if it goes all wrong, at least we had fun playing with them, right? So at least we could see how they perform. So I think I'm gonna start with this shade from the We Are The Weirdos palette. It's called Light As A Feather. And I'm gonna take And just kind of pack it in feeling like maybe I should have used a black eye primer and I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend it out and blend it out and blend it out Now I'm using like a semi-fluffy brush just to kind of save myself some work because black, any kind of black is really, really pigmented and really hard to work with. So you don't get quite as much color on a brush like this. So if you make a mistake, it's a little easier to blend out. Blend it out. None of that green flex stayed. I don't see any of it, but it's still really blended out beautifully. Like it's not looking crazy. I feel like we can go in with some other colors and it look really nice. So the next, I think I'm gonna go back to the Heart of Fantasia palette and I'm gonna go in with this really, really pretty brown and it is called Rock Biter. Oh, God. Would you believe that my boyfriend had never seen the never ending story. We almost broke up over it. It was it was not a good day. Oh, I had to swatch that again just because, oh, it's, these shadows are so beautiful. And what is interesting about them is I never feel like I get a repeat of shade. Both the palettes that I got, I feel even though, you know, this, you might think of this as kind of a neutral palette. I feel like every single one of these shades is unique to something that I have in my collection. I very, very impressed. If you're one person that likes to have a definitely one cohesive look in one palette, you you might not be a huge fan of these simply because it's all shimmer. And that drives some people crazy. Now I'm just tapping this in with my finger because it is a very wet formula. So you could, could use a brush, but when I have a really, really wet formula, I prefer a finger. I just think I have more control on where I pack it. Yes, yes, we got something going here. Now, those green flecks stayed. That is such an interesting shade. Okay, next. I am going to go in with this bluish greenish shade, and this is the Childlike Empress, and this is so pretty. It's like a greenish blue. I'm feeling like I should have cut creased this, but oh well, we did what we did.
I am going to take one of these bad daddies right here. Does anyone know what these are called? Detail brush, and I am going to stick it into the shade Falcor. This really bright, crazy looking highlighter shade. I'm gonna dip my brush in there and see if it does what I want it to. And it is doing what I wanted it to. This almost has blue undertones to it, but it's not so crazy that if you wanted to use this as a highlighter, you could. The Pretties for Your Face formula is a very, very wet formula, but it goes on so nicely. I blend that out just a smidge. Okay, let's try from the Mystery Bundle. I wonder if I could use that for a blush. Not with the colors I got going on right now. So let me put a blush on. Now I'm gonna go into this highlighter shade that I got in the mystery pack and it's called Chic. Again, it looks like this. Let's see, there, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna go in with Chic on top of my cheeks. Ah, yes, yes. Let's blend it a little bit with some blush and the yells. It's actually, wow, it's actually really, really pretty. It's not super thick, so it goes on and it melts into the skin and it's got this really crazy radiant sheen, but you can't really quite see where it's coming from. It just looks like your skin. Wow, this is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let us put on some lashes and let's complete the look. The lashes I'm going to use is from another indie brand called Nina Frisa Cosmetics. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. And this is a pair of lashes and it's called It's 420 Somewhere for April 20th. So this came in a mystery bag that I got from iBeauty, I believe. Okay, let's try them on. Okay, and I'm back. And this is the final look. The eyeshadows worked beautifully. I do think that it would have been nice if I had some mattes. I'm not sure if they offer mattes. I'm sure they do. I just happen to not get any. <laughs> but I mean, we made it work. I do think that it would probably look a little bit more vibrant if we had done a cut crease, but that is on me. The eyelashes from Nina Frisa, they're beautiful, but I'm, I'm not sure they're me. They're just a little bit more out there than I'm comfortable with when it comes to the eyelashes. But for this look and for what we got going on right now, so what do I think about the brand? I think the brand is beautiful. I think that the wet formula makes it so pigmented. It makes it so smooth when it goes on the skin. They are obviously hand pressed, so they're not perfect as you can see there, but as far as the way the shadows feel and perform, it's actually a very, very unique formula, not one that I have come across. I've come across brands try to do a formula like this and it just be goopy, disgusting mess on the eye. Like these went on beautiful and I just love the way they performed. The highlighters, they're very, very, very similar to the Jeffree Star highlighter formula. They're thick, but they're not as thick as the Jeffree Star formula, so I actually feel like they're better. 
overall, I'm really, really impressed with the brand. But I would love to see them become bigger because this is something that I feel like we could really, really use on the market. And these palettes are $20 a piece for one, two, three, four, five pan shades. Most of the palettes I've come across are mostly shimmers. So if, again, if you're a person that's big into that matte to shimmer ratio, these may not be for you. But if you like to mix and match palettes and just ha like to have these amazing, really good go-to shades, you're gonna love this brand. And plus, you're supporting small business. So again, pretties for your face. I highly recommend them. And that's it for this video. So if you like these types of videos and you wanna see more of them or have any suggestions of brands I should review, please leave me comments down below. I wanna hear about it. I wanna hear how much you like these types of videos. And please like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notified every time one of my videos gets posted. All right, thank you everyone for visiting me in my little corner of Sin City. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and boom!